I've heard it said, that is truly yours, which you cannot lose in a shipwreck. My dear sisters and brothers, to arrive at all, you need to desire nothing at all, for that is truly yours, which you cannot lose in a shipwreck. Today we celebrate St. John of the Cross, someone who is known more for his phrase, the dark night of the soul. Have you ever found yourself alone in a meaningless universe, unable to go through the motions of daily life, having lost all sense of direction and finding no purpose at all? Welcome to the dark night of the soul. Although we look at the dark night of the soul as a concept, an idea, as a kind of a stage in one's spiritual life, you also find it in the world of psychology, in mythology, as you find it in religion. And St. John of the Cross was the first to articulate it and to call it so. We could think of the dark night of the soul as a kind of a stage in the personal development of a person as the person moves from one stage to another, passing through from what he always thought was firm ground to that which is not so very stable. And in the process, there is a lot of pain, a lot of disillusionment and disenchantment. What seemed to make a lot of sense, give a purpose in life, and set the direction seems to be lost. The change could be in one's habit, in one's career, in one's growth, or even in one's belief. And the person finds herself or himself completely lost. Even Mother Teresa of Calcutta would describe that she found herself in this hopeless stage of what John of the Cross would call the dark night of the soul for many years. My dear sisters and brothers, all of us necessarily go through the stage. And it's a pity that we don't recognize it for what it is. And the truth is that there can be no reformation within oneself, no renewal or no regeneration or no rebirth in oneself unless one loses all that he considers or she considers to be important and precious. Or to put it in the words of Jesus in the gospel according to St. John, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. Or to put it the same thing in a different way, it seeds that lie buried in the dark, that crack open when new life happens. My dear sisters and brothers, let's pause for a while and pray for direction in life. Let's look to the Lord from where shall come our help. There are moments when we find ourselves at a loss without a sense of direction, without meaning in life, when the firm ground beneath us seems to give way and the sky seems to fall on our heads. 
And that is when we turn to the Lord and hold on to him, for he is able to lead us to greener pastures, to the cool waters. Let's pause and pray for this grace.